Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 as the Mords. So, let's continue where we left off. We got a Pantheon to choose and honestly all our options suck. They are only bad and worse. I think I'll just go for God King. There are a few other choices, but yeah, they are just bad or worse. Alright, God King it is then. We will lose our Pantheon eventually since we will not get a religion. And we have India as well as Ethiopia as our neighbors. And they usually both like spreading their religion. So yeah. Alright, let's start our second city. And our third city will probably be close to Venice. Because that way I could get the marble. I could get two unique luxuries that I won't otherwise have. This is probably the best choice for the third city. I can always settle a fourth city somewhere around here if I want to. But we can decide that in the future. I could even settle right here. And then get one more city somewhere around here. It's not a bad idea. But for now, let's start our second city. Like so, we'll work the salt immediately and get started on the library. And let's explore a little bit more. I still want to explore more with the archer, but I also want to have at least one unit back home. In case we get some barbarians. So I don't know about this. I think I'll just go back home with that archer. Yep. Right, also. I suppose we should get started on one more settler right now. Can we afford to finish that library? And I saw a worker for a moment. I would really like to get that worker. We could use a second one. But we don't have any units around there. Other than that one archer. I can always try to kill that brute with a scout. Or I can wait for my archer to arrive there. But that's going to take a very long time. That's going to take 11 turns. So I don't think so. I don't think I want to wait that long. Anyway. We should go improve that salt without waiting for the second archer. We'll do it. As for you, not much to see here. If I attack the brood right now, I will just lose the scout on the next turn. So that's a really terrible idea. Let's not do that. We'll just wait for the archer to arrive there. Not much else I can do really. And this guy can just chill in the area. Alright, next. I'll wait to finish the library and then get one more settler, I suppose. I could also just go for two city national college. It's not like Venice will steal city locations from me, so it's not a terrible idea. Oh hey, two workers now. That's great, I can actually grab that guy. Sure, I could return it. To a city-state? Nah, I'd rather keep it. I do need a second worker ASAP. So we'll do that. And we got one more worker to capture. We got some iron, nice. Six iron and there are a few more sources. Very nice. That will be worth some gold. I should improve this ASAP. As for research... Construction? We don't really need construction, but... If I want to start one more city before philosophy, I don't have to research philosophy just yet. Hmm. I'm really considering going for two cities in National College. I think I'll do it. Again, it's not like anyone is going to steal this location from me. We do have Polynesia to the east, but Venice is blocking them. Ethiopia is too far away. India is also too far away. So we should be fine. Alright, let's try to get that other worker. That would be nice. We can try. Should be easy enough. Unless someone steals it from under our nose. I think that's going to be a kill. No, not quite. Okay then. 
Well, that's not a big deal. We should be able to do it on the next turn. Well, actually... It will depend on where exactly he's going to move. But our archer is incoming. Let's try like this. Where is he going to move? Declaration of friendship with Gandhi. Sure. Why not? Alright, I think we can do it now. Yep, we can. Easily. Nice. Another worker. So I could return this one to the city-state. That's not a terrible idea. 45 influence is quite a lot. Alright, let's do it. That gives us more influence. We should be able to stay allied with that city-state for quite a while now. Alright, let's go improve things. The archer can stay in our capital. And we'll explore through here. We still need to meet some more AIs. Alright, next. He wants gold. I suppose I could accept this. That will give us a boost with him. Alright, let's accept that. That's only 27 gold. Not a big deal. And now we'll be super friendly with Venice. I don't plan actually attacking Venice. I will probably use them for trade routes. They will be a very safe trade route partner. As for our policy, yeah, landed elite. Well, actually, I should have picked aristocracy, maybe? Nah, landed elite is faster growth. Okay. So, improve the dice, I suppose. And next. So, two cities, national college. Yep. Which means we have to wait for a philosophy. That gives me some time to get one more worker, maybe some more units. Not a bad idea. Obviously, we need to finish that library first. But I want to improve all the luxuries and the iron ASAP to start selling them. Not much point going in this direction anymore. Alright, get the dice. You can just stay inside the city. Or explore, but I can't get open borders just yet. And I can't embark. Gandhi completed Temple of Artemis in Delhi. You know what that means? Gandhi is probably going to be our first target. Did he build any other wonders? Just one, Stonehenge, but Temple of Artemis alone is worth taking his capital city for. And Gandhi tends to be pretty dangerous in the late game. So, yeah, I think Delhi will be our first target. But not yet. We need to finish our cities and the National College, and then we can start thinking about attacking Gandhi. So, library is done. I should get at least one caravan. Well, I can only get one right now. I should also get one more worker. Let's get one more worker. This city needs a lot more improvements. And we'll need at least one more worker for sure. I could have kept the city-state worker, but... I'd rather stay allied with that city state longer without having to spend gold for it. We'll explore through here. So where are the missing AIs? Should be to the north. There should be at least one to the north over here, I guess. Alright, the salt mine is done. Which tile are we working? We should be working this one. Looks good. Our capital is about to grow as well. I think I'll let it work the silver mine. Because we could use their production. Yeah, I'll just let it work that. Because that's what's going to get assigned. Yep. Alright. It won't grow very quickly, but that's okay. Decoration of friendship with Carthage. Yeah, it's usually not worth a whole lot. But we can accept that for now. We might be able to get... At least one research agreement with them. Oh, Carthage is quite far away from us. So that means they shouldn't be a problem. They are too far away to actually attack us. Alright, next. I probably want to build up some archers. Because that's what leads to our unique unit. Or at least it should. Just to make sure. 
Wait, can we not upgrade directly to our unique unit? Interesting. That's a little bit strange. We should be able to do that. A unique unit does replace the crossbowman. I assume we'll be able to upgrade from composite bowman to crossbowman. Because we should be able to. Alright, next. Are all the religions gone yet? No. Did Gandhi found a religion? Yeah, he did. Is it any good? Cathedrals, mosques. Yeah, that's pretty good. But I can't get open borders with him just yet. We don't have the tech. Alright, let's keep exploring. I think I saw salt. Yep, I certainly did. However, we won't be settling a city all the way over there. Obviously. Alright. Next. I suppose I could explore to the north with that scout. Sure, we can go to that. And go back home with the spearmen. There's a barbarian camp on the way. And we actually have city-state quests. We can try to get that. That would be nice. Let's send some reinforcements. It's not even that far away. And we would get influence with two different city-states. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, let's just go for it. I think we can do it on the next turn. I just don't want anyone else to steal it. Next. So, oh yeah. No, not yet. We can do that on our own turn. I think we can buy a luxury. No. So, kill it. Nice. Influence with two city-states. That was definitely worth it. You will stay back home in that case. Alright. So, what else? I could show the forest. I should improve that deer. And I should get the silk, but I will have to buy some tiles in order to actually make that happen. Seven more turns to finish philosophy, and we'll finish library in three turns. No, I'm not giving you dice for free. I should just sell dice for 360 gold. Yeah, sounds good to me. Oh, natural wonder. It's not even that far away, but it's a crappy natural wonder. But still, I might end up starting a city somewhere in this area. We'll see. Anyway, dear, you will stay in Cordoba and let's... Oh, Ethiopia already beat me to it. Okay, fair enough. Ethiopia is probably going to be our second target. I hate their unique unit. So it might be a good idea to eliminate them long before they can get their unique unit. Let's queue up an archer or something. We need more units. We only have like one archer and one spearman and that's our entire military. Not very impressive to say the least. Get the dice. Oh yeah, we don't actually have trapping yet, which is kind of funny. Alright, you can work on something else. Like chop that forest to speed up whatever is next. We could chop the forest to speed up a caravan. That's not a bad idea. And focus on other things in our capital city. Sure, that works for me. And you? Yeah, you will stay in Cordoba. Next. Oh, I still didn't sell the dice, right. I'm just thinking about other things. You don't have enough gold. Alright, let's sell them to Carthage. We'll have more pretty soon. In 14 turns. Alright, chop the forest to speed up the caravan. You can go explore and you should really go back home to have more units around here. Not that I expect anyone to attack me, but you know, I don't want to have just one archer as my entire defense. That's not very good. Just trying to avoid the Barbarian. I would normally settle my third city much, much earlier than this, but... 
Since Venice can't settle cities anyway, I can take advantage of that. Oh, the Mongols are here. Okay, that's interesting. I could get the Mongols to attack Ethiopia. It's quite possible that they will do it on their own without me having to encourage them. Also, one thing I can do is just buy a settler. It's not a terrible idea, actually. Not just yet, but once we're closer to finishing the National College. Alright, so... Yeah, we can just go through Bogota, it's fine. I can't go this way. We need trapping next. And... Let's get started on National College. We can finish the Archer later, actually. Yeah, let's finish it later. I could chop some of these forests. We are actually chopping a forest right now. And we can sell some iron. To Gandhi, he has some gold. Carthage also has 300. I assume Venice will buy some. We can sell a little bit of iron to everyone. Venice will buy some. Carthage will buy the rest, I guess. That's going to be 270. Done. I don't really need iron myself right now, so... I prefer the gold. That's over 1000. Okay, well, we are going back home. And we can explore a little bit more. Let's get more dice and chop another forest. And speed up that caravan. There. I could also chop this forest. And then go... Hold that thought. And, and then go improve the silk. Yeah, I think I'll accept open borders. Because he will be more likely to spread his religion to me that way. I want his religion. It's a pretty good one. Get out of the way with that stupid scout. Well, we'll have to go around him, I guess. Not really a loss, because we'll end our turn on that hill regardless. And I might as well buy these tiles by now. There's no point delaying it. We'll have to buy them. And our border will not expand to the hill on its own. Alright, just buy it. And explore this way. Did we find all the eyes yet? Now we need one more. Alright then. One more it is. It's probably somewhere to the east, if I had to guess. Looks that way. So, chop the forest to speed up the caravan. And then we can improve the silk. There's no huge rush to get more happiness anyway. This will be a pretty early national college. Not that early, but relatively early. Even. So Gandhi completed the Hanging Gardens. Yeah, that's not so great. I don't want him to have wonders that give him food. And now he has the Hanging Gardens and the Temple of Artemis in Delhi. That's actually an insane combo. Now I want Delhi even more. Delhi is definitely going to be our first target. There's no question about that. We need that city. Hopefully he won't start any crappy cities to the east, so that we'll be able to attack Delhi directly. Delhi has insane population potential. It will easily be one of the biggest cities in this game. Easily. But not yet, we are not doing that. Just yet. As for research, we need the wheel to start the road. Should probably work on that sometime soon. Alright, next. I hope the Mongols won't conquer Ethiopia too fast. And we got, oh yeah, aristocracy. Yeah. To speed up the National College. That works. That was pretty good timing. We need 17 or 19 more turns. 16. Okay, nice. Next. And we'll get... No, we won't get any more production. We already finished chopping the other forest. So, you will just chill right here, or you can go to Granada. That also works. Sydney requests units? I don't think so. Two more turns. That should finish the caravan, or almost finish it. There, it will be done on the next turn. Nice. What do we want in Granada? Probably a shrine. We'll need more faith. Are there any religions still available? There are. There is one more religion still available. It would be kind of funny if we actually managed 
to found a religion after I took God King. Well, <laughs> I didn't think I stand the chance to have a religion in this game. But we are actually pretty damn close to getting the last religion. We'll see when it happens. Anyway, the first trade route is going to be with Quebec City or with Ethiopia. Is it safe? Where's that city? Oh yeah, right here. That should be safe. That goes through city-state territory. I'm not sure where that Barbarian Galley is spawning from. There has to be some Barbarian camp. But this looks relatively safe. It doesn't really make a huge difference. We'll get one extra gold per turn from Venice, but one extra science from Ethiopia. Alright, let's just go to Ethiopia. And, oh. No, I don't care about that one. So, improve the silk. And next. We should buy that settler sometime soon, because it will take us a few turns to actually get to our new city location. Okay, stone is next. You need to heal up. Improve the silk. And let's keep exploring. Research. Construction or sailing for the extra trade route? Yep, we should probably get sailing. Also, I should start a second city on this lake. Because that way, I can use cargo ships for internal trade routes. I could send food to Cordoba with a cargo ship. We could start a pretty decent city around here. I could have a city right here, for example. That would give me truffles, which is a unique luxury. And it's a reasonably decent city. It will have an observatory. It will have one fish in range. There might even be fish on this tile. Unlikely, but it's possible. Even if not, this is a reasonably decent location for a city. I'll probably end up starting my fourth city over here. I like that plan. Oh yeah, we didn't actually finish researching masonry. We didn't even start researching masonry. That's fine, we can start the road. We'll need the road anyway. Might as well get started on that right now. And another city-state. What is it specialized in? Foreign Legion. Okay. No, I'm not giving you dice for free. Are you crazy? We need to sell the dice. So let's go to that. Will give us 360. Venice will not. No one will give us full 360. That's okay. I'll take the gold from Gandhi. Like this. And some gold per turn. Done. That's quite a lot of gold, but we are about to spend almost 700 for a settler. And the settler will need an escort. Alright, let's buy the settler. Might as well just do it right now. And here's another militaristic city-state, Berber Cavalry. Not a super useful unit. So, where exactly do we want that city? I probably want to grab the marble. That's a no-brainer. So I think we should start right here. It's going to be pretty close to Quebec City, but I don't really care. Yeah, we'll get a lot of stuff with this city, and it will be close enough to a mountain. So that we'll be able to build Neuschweinstein in there in the future. We won't be able to build that otherwise. So I think I like that idea. Alright, that's what we're going to do. Carry on. How's it going here? The plantation is done. Let's just sell the dice immediately. We can sell the dice to Venice. And get all the gold. Well, our income will be pretty good in this game. It's not too impressive just yet, but it will get much better in the future. For a game with no sea trade routes, that is. Other than internal sea trade routes. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. There's the production for Granada. From the silk from the forest on the silk. I could still chop this forest right here. I'll want a mine on that tile anyway. 
Yeah, I think I'll do it. It will save us one or two turns on the National College. And Granary. Or Water Mill first, actually. Water Mill first will be slightly better here. Not by much, but just a little bit. No open borders with you, no. So, we are actually going to get a religion, unless we get really unlucky with that prophet. Wait, are we going to save any time on this at all? Yeah, we'll save one turn. Oh, there's a barbarian camp. Well, this is exactly why I sent an escort. To prevent a situation like this. We have some time to kill that guy. So that's not really a problem. And we have an archer incoming. We still got five turns, so not a big deal. Okay, masonry is almost done. Reformation belief was done. That was Venice. Oh, what was it then? Let's see. Not super. Oh. Uh, no, that's not super useful. Hidden conversion. Their religion kind of sucks. I want the religion from India. Or our own religion. If we can pick up anything decent. That might not actually happen. And yes, I saw the hand axe. Research. I guess it's about time to get construction. Yeah, I suppose so. You know, just in case anyone gets any crazy ideas. And we did get a religion. Well then, that was very unexpected. Let's do it. What is still available? Founder belief first. Oh yeah, we can't pick up tithe. 100 gold when each city first converts to this religion. I suppose so. We could get a little bit of extra happiness, but that won't give us a whole lot. Or plus two gold for each city following this religion. I think I prefer 100 flat gold when the city first converts. We would have to spread our religion to a lot of cities. Although... Well, I guess on Epic Game Pays, church property is slightly better. Especially this early. Okay, let's get church property. This is going to be a pretty bad religion. We don't need monasteries. Yeah, this is not amazing. Plus on happiness from shrines. In cities with three followers. Plus two happiness from gardens. Well, that might be decent. Or we could grab religious community. But peace gardens would actually be nice. All of our cities will have gardens. So three cities so far. Oh, great. Gandhi started a city where I wanted a city. And he didn't start a coastal one. Which is something I wanted. Alright, that's pretty annoying. I might have to give up my idea of using this lake for an internal sea trade route. And we can do that because this isn't technically a lake, it's an ocean. So what about that religion? This is kind of bad. It should be either religious community or plus two happiness from gardens. Religious community is more of a late game belief, but it's nice later in the game. I think I might go for that. I don't like this choice too much. We should be fine on happiness, we have quite a lot of unique luxuries. Let's go for religious community. Chances are, India will convert our cities anyway. That can definitely happen. Alright, kill this guy already. National College is almost done. In fact, it will be done in two turns. I should have finished. Yeah, it will be done on the next turn. Kill this dude. The Handaks attacked Venice from the looks of it. 
Alright. Explore this way. We still need to meet one more AI, yeah? Yep. So, you guys, you can go continue the road. It's about time. And National College is done. We can start the city on the next turn. And now we can finish the archer. And maybe get one more settler, although Gandhi stole the city location that I wanted. I could just focus on military production right now. In order to attack Gandhi. We still got the creation of friendship, but by the time I recruit a decent army, we won't. So, city. Right here. Yeah, we want the marble. And I want that mountain within two tiles. I like this location. Venice won't like it, but whatever. It's not like Venice will attack us. And even if they will, good luck conquering this. They don't stand a chance. Okay, so library. Might as well start with the library. And I think I'm going to make a cut here, continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.